Square cause in the park, Natasui San Juan, Masipi Wampana, Ka Nano Hagania, Ka Mash and Tucker Pequot. It's an honor to be here. My name is Anwan Whedon. I've been asked to speak on behalf of my mother's tribe, the Mashpee Wampanoag. Um, you just heard from Wayne Reels. Uh, my father is Mashantucket, as well as now no Haganiak, the Narragansetts, which are also represented here. So uh, these are all my family, and we've traveled far from the east. Um, Mashpee Wampanoag is the specific tribe that I'm from. Mashpee is the tribe, the community. Wampanoag is the nation. So there are other Wampanoag communities that I'm hoping will join me when I return. Uh, Mashpee itself, for those of you who are not familiar with our language, we speak the Algonquian language and uh, we have our dialect, Massachusetts dialect. Masipi is what we originally called it. Mashpee is what they refer to our community now. When you translate that into English, it means great water. Great waters. That's who I am. It's not what I have to protect. It's not what I've been given, it's who we are. Wampanoag, as I said, is the nation that that community is part of. For those of you who are not familiar with it, there is no nation any further east. We reach out into the Atlantic Ocean when you see that arm of land that is further east on Turtle Island than any other part of that turtle. That arm of land is us. That is the Wampanoag territory. And the reason we call, call ourselves Wampanoag what that translates into is people of the first light because we knew we see the sun before any other. And that is our obligation, our duty, to greet that sun each and every day. Just as it's our obligation and our duty to defend water. And as everyone here has pointed out and already knows, not only are we as human beings connected as human beings, as one people, but water is connected as you know. And therefore, anyone attacks any water, that's where I come in. We have to, we have to stand together. That resource nourishes everybody, every tribe, particularly those who do not have it. I have my sister with me from the great Diné nation. The Diné people found me way out in the East Coast somehow. And they asked me, they presented me with the eagle fan that I have my, uh, my colleague carrying in as he dances. Uh, they asked me to carry that fan to help them get water because the Diné go many, many moons without water at times. And I thought it was pretty ironic that of all the people she found and, and chose to pick to honor with that eagle fan, she didn't know me from a hole in the wall. She just she said she had a vision, a reoccurring vision. And when she saw me in my regalia, she said, this, this is what I've been seeing. Do you dance? And I said, sure. She said, would you dance for us to get rain? And I said, that'd be an honor. So I'm asking him to dance with my fan today since I didn't bring my regalia to dance. I'm gonna be singing a flag song uh, Kenny Merrick made this flag song for us while he was on the Mystic River drum using Pequot language um, to honor the flag and all that it stands for. Uh, I'll be able to do a quick victory dance right after which will give these guys an opportunity to showcase the Eastern style of dance as well. Um, it's an honor to be here. Uh, I have to apologize for those who did not make this trip. But as mentioned, uh, when I found out you guys are planning on staying here till January 1st, I'm sure these tents are doing okay for now, but you can't light fires in them. So uh, we're going to go back and uh, we got some cedar in our swamps and we still know how to build our traditional lodges, which you can build fires in. Uh, so we're going to come back out with some of those, going to come back out with some of those materials. You guys are going to need that to get through the cold weather all the way to January 1st. Uh, we'll bring whatever supplies we can. Some of these uh, are dignitaries from their tribes and they've already made calls for financial support and other supplies. So. Uh, on a cultural level, it's an honor to be here. Anyone who needs anything from me, I came here to split wood, wash dishes. If I gotta braid your hair, I'll do that too. Uh, but I came here to help, so I'm gonna, uh, don't wanna hold up people, so uh, I just wanna say it's a great honor to be here and I thank you.